what is going on radar force today we are going to be covering the Dragon Ball Z Budokai series from GameCube PlayStation 2 PlayStation 3 Xbox 360 all the hoo-hahs of Budokai series until then let's get started with the Budokai 1 so here we have Budokai 1 it is released on PlayStation 2 and GameCube only, as you can see here. Budokai 1 for the PlayStation 2 and GameCube. Uh, I own both copies. Uh, I don't really consider owning every copy necessary for a complete collection. I just wanted the, um, was it a 6th generation? The GameCube PlayStation generation and the Xbox Dreamcast generation. I wanted to own all the versions uh, prior to, for that generation and below all the versions of the games um because once it gets to xbox 360 and xbox one ps3 and ps4 um every console basically gets the same release and i just find that futile and you're wasting a lot of money and you know this generation the gamecube generation the playstation 2 generation the xbox generation and the dreamcast generation it really it really hits hard for me because that's where i grew up with so that's why i really wanted those and that's just my personal preference you know i don't consider it for a complete collection that to own every single different console version because it's just ridiculous but anyways let's open up the PlayStation 2 version and see what we got and here we have Budokai 1 PlayStation 2 so this one I do have the manual and everything inside all of the ones I display on my shelf have everything inside of it uh, I think the GameCube ones are a little more expensive and I don't think I have the manual as you can see we have the manual here and the disc and that is Budokai 1 for the PlayStation 2 let's check out the GameCube version pretty sure I don't have the manual but you get what you pay for GameCube games are a little bit more expensive um, but there it is Budokai I, I will say I've never played Budokai on the GameCube I wonder if it's easy I'm just for Dragon Ball Z games, I like the PlayStation 2, you know what I mean? I'm sure everybody does. Uh, anyways, moving right along, we have Budokai 2 for the GameCube and PlayStation 2. And let's check it out, let's check it out. Alright, starting with uh, the PlayStation 2 again. We got the sick holographic cover, which is always, always nice. Drop in, power up, and throw down. Sit. Oh, this should be complete in box as well. We got the manual and Budokai 2 game disc. All right, let's check out the GameCube. Pretty sure this is also uh, not complete in box, but we'll find out. Still got the same cover. Pretty sick. Shout out if you're a, a GameCube guy. I really love the GameCube, but not for Dragon Ball Z games. Oh snap, I do got the manual in here. Sick. Complete in box for the GameCube. Nice. And we got the Budokai 2 disc. Sick. Okay, cool. I actually have the freaking manual for that. That that makes the value of that go up a little bit. <laughs> and now we're moving on to Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3. Debatably the best Dragon Ball Z game. Ever. Let's see if I can't get all three of these in here. Not really, but... There you go. We got the black label, Budokai 3 on the left. The greatest hits version of Budokai 3, which has a deeper backstory. And then we have the limited edition, Budokai 3, which, funnily enough, comes with the black label and not the greatest edition. Which is kind of odd. But with that said, let's get into the black label first. Okay, here is Budokai 3. And as a lot of you guys know, this is my favorite console game of Dragon Ball Z. Uh, my favorite Dragon Ball game is, of course, Dragon Ball Online that was canceled in 2013. But, you know, you guys all know about that. Uh, that's my favorite Dragon Ball game. But on console, Budokai 3 all day. As of right now, uh, maybe that will change. I am currently playing Tenkaichi 1. Um, so maybe Tenkaichi 3 when I get there will change my mind. But anyways, Black Label of Budokai 3. Only released on the PlayStation 2. 
Don't know why. I don't know. I guess the GameCube couldn't handle the power. Only one will prevail. All right. This should be complete in box as well. We got the manual and we got the black label disc right there with K3. Now, we're going to go into the greatest hits version because this is probably the rarest version of Budokai 3. Other than the limited edition, of course. But as a disc copy, this is the rarest disc version. Because this disc comes with bonus content that was not released in the original one. Uh, I, hopefully my memory served me correct. In this version, um, you get you can get the Halo outfit and some uh, so you can get some more outfits for certain characters that the original one um, did not come with, which is for me, I needed it. And I think there's some other there's like a, another game mode or something. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's something to do with the game mode. I can't remember. Leave it down in the comments below if you remember. But this disc is rare because let me let, let, let's go through the cover real quick. So the cover is sick. First off. back is literally the same but what's crazy about this is well nice manual very sick manual now the disc this is where things get rare weird because when they released the greatest hits version um you know it's supposed to come with the new features the bonus features that were never released in uh, north america well when they ship these out a lot of the disc they, they actually they actually burned, I guess they burned these discs when they put in the factory. However, they put the data on the disc from the factory. They put the original Budokai 3 data on the Greatest Hits version. So a lot of these discs, you'll buy them and you won't know if you actually have the correct version until you plug it in. Luckily, I got it on my first tee. And when I plugged this up, I had the new bonus features um, on my game. So when you buy this, you got to be careful. You actually get the right disc, which you, you, cannot tell, uh, you cannot tell by the disc. You have to actually boot it up and hope for the best. Luckily, I got mine first tee and it worked just fine. Had all the features. Moving on to debatably the greatest <laughs> game limited edition box ever. Budokai 3. This one is sick. It's got the edges. It's got the Dragon Ball. It's got everything. Limited edition Budokai 3 for the PlayStation 2. But look at, check out that Dragon Ball. Ooh. I, I just love how this box is just oddly shaped. You see that? Oddly shaped. We got a Mega Shinron on the side. Budokai 3. Bam, bam, bam. Inside you will find the physical copy for Budokai 3. You'll get a Broly Chibi toy. An all access bonus DVD featuring Budokai 3 behind the screams. And then the Budokai 3 Super Trailer video. Who's on this side? We got go behind the scenes, meet the DBZ voice actors of your favorite character. Sean Schimmel, Tiffany Vollmer, and Chris Sabat, yeah. All right, this copy is actually open. So let's open it up and let's show you guys what we got. Luckily, the guy who owned it before me opened it from the bottom like a, a true savage, man. All right, so let's see if I can't pull the chibi out without disrupting the piece here. Might not, might not be doable here. All right, we'll start with the, um, start with everything else. So we have the uh, exclusive bonus DVD. Let, let's get everything out real quick. I want to get the figure out, but it's, he's in there pretty good. Oh man, God, you might hate me for this. Whew. I'm actually gonna hate myself for this because I gotta put it back. Okay, let's move the box out of the way for right now. Okay, so this is the little exclusive chibi toy that I think is pretty easy to find online. Believe it or not, nothing too special. It's kind of lame if you ask me. But here we have the exclusive bonus DVD, which this is behind the scenes and everything. Pretty sick. This is also super easy to get as well. But as you see here, you just got the disc, the DVD disc with exclusive footage. Honestly, kind of lame. <laughs> but what's neat about my copy is my game inside here is actually sealed. Budokai 3 is actually sealed. It's insane. I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually sealed. This game sealed goes for like, last time I checked, like this is three years ago, it was like 150 bucks. Like I could sell this game and put my other copy that's used in here and I wouldn't cry about it, but oh, it's sealed. That's so nice to have a sealed. My favorite game, console game, sealed. That's pretty sick. And now moving on to what could have been the best Dragon Ball Z game, or if not the best 
Budokai game is Dragon Ball Z Infinite World. Such a good game, except they failed. This game took everything that made Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3 bad, like the Dragon Rush and all that bull crap. They took it out. They removed them features, which was amazing. But they took out one of the best things about Dragon Ball games in general, the World Tournament. They removed what made all the other Budokai games great by removing the World Tournament. So now you can no longer play with your friends in the tournament. You can only duel each other. But the fighting in this game is so much better than Budokai 3. They botched it. They botched it. But anyways, this is a complete in-box uh, copy of Infinite World. This game is actually getting expensive. Not quite Budokai uh, Tenkaichi 3 expensive, but expensive. The best of the Budokai. You see, they even knew it, but they took the tournament out. Why did you take the tournament out? Still butthurt about that. Still very hurt about that. Anyways, let's check it out. We got Infinite World Manual, Infinite World Disc, super sick. A little fun fact about this game. This was released in the um, the late PS2 uh, life cycle of games. You know, obviously the PS2 lasted forever. But like, by the time that this came out, basically when the PS3 was coming out. So this game, a lot of people missed. And uh, so did I. I didn't know it existed until maybe five years ago. And man, super hyped to have it because this is a great game. Minus <laughs> the tournaments. It's gone. The tournament. But anyways, I still play Blue Cat 3 because it has a tournament! <laughs> anyways, okay, I actually forgot about the Dragon Ball Z, Shin Budokai, and Shin Budokai Another Road for the PSP. These are definitely in the uh, Budokai series. I totally forgot while I was recording to throw these in there. So, uh, if you notice on the thumbnail, these are not in there, that's why. Sorry, I'll probably, I'll try to put them in the thumbnail, but, uh, Anyway, let's go over these real quick, and uh, we'll educate you guys on the Shin and Budokai series. They're, these games are amazing, but uh, let's go over Shin Budokai 1 first. Bum, 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 bum. Alright, so here we have Shin Budokai for the PSP. Now, this game is so good because it took what was so great about the Budokai 1, 2, and 3, mainly Budokai 3, and put it on the PlayStation Portable, which means you can play Budokai on the go. Budokai on the go is so good. It's so good. Now the controls are just a little bit different than Budokai 3, but it's so close, it's barely noticeable. It just takes you maybe 15 minutes or so to get used to it. Battle anytime, anywhere. Wireless multiplayer versus friends in network mode. Single player in story mode based on the movie. Challenge up to 18 high-powered warriors, including Broly, Janemba, Pycon, Cooler, Goku, Vegeta, and more. Nice. The only bad thing about the networking on here, both players have to own the game. So we have the UMD here of Shin Budokai and the awesome Shin Budokai manual. So, fun fact, I actually, my brother owned this game uh, when we were growing up, and he sold all of his PSP games along with his PSP, but he left this case at my parents' house for years. Uh, so I had the case forever, but no UMD. So when I started collecting Dragon Ball, I, had, I ended up buying the UMD. So this is the original case and manual from my brother's collection, which is amazing. But the fact that he sold all his games and his PSP makes me mad because I had to rebuy the PSP. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, now, speaking of Shin Budokai, we're going to Shin Budokai Another Road. Now this game I have not played. But I, from what I've heard, it expands on everything that Shin Budokai did, and, and it's so much better. But like I said, playing Budokai on the road is amazing in itself. The artwork is great. Oh, it's just, man, Budokai, man, it's such a good game. So, to know the road ahead, ask those coming back. Experience the never-before-told story of Future Trunks as he battles through time to save mankind from a horrific fate. An impressive piece of work for the PSP. Gamesrader. Face off against friends and amazing head-to-head -head wireless clashes. Customize your characters for more intense DBZ battles. So, we got the manual and the UMD. Now, this game is actually getting uh, somewhat expensive. The PSP games are, are getting expensive, so, you know, if you see one for a good deal, grab them. But, yeah, uh, moving on to the next uh, game. Now, to the very last 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 release we have the dragon ball z budokai hd 
collection we have it for the Xbox 360 and the PS3. Um, I prefer the PS3 version because I play Budokai 1, 2, and 3 on the PS2. So the PS3 controller is basically the same. But um, I am an Xbox 360 guy, so of course I had to get the 360 game. And you may be noticing why is the, why is the covers different. Well, I'll get into that in just a minute. But first, let's open up the PS3 version. So we got the cover. We got the spine. And we have the back. Back to back Budokai Brawl. I failed to mention that this only has Budokai 1, Budokai 3. Why they didn't do Budokai 2 is beyond me. But let's open this bad boy up and see what we got. So, we got the manual. Hard to believe we had a manual back in this time. PS3 and Xbox 360 started the discard manuals. And there we have complete embolic experience. So, real quick, let's um, check out the Xbox 3 version. So, we got the front cover, Budokai 1, Budokai 3, Spine, Back to Back Budokai Brawl. So, why is the covers different? Well, there was a specific release of this version that has a front and back flippable uh, cover for the PS3 and the Xbox 360. So, I'll, I'll get into it more, but... As you can see, the manual and the disc. But if I take this out, I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna actually take it out, out because that's just too much. So as you can see, we have the regular manual for for the PlayStation 3 on the back side. This one is the flippable variant, and I'll show you real quick. So let's look back here. So it says right here, if you can read, um, it says DBZ Budokai and Budokai 3 Remastered, and then right here it says collectible double-sided cover inside now let's get the PlayStation 3 one back out here this version did not have that third bullet point as you can see inside it's just a white back there's no there's no other variant crazy right and that's why I had to get that version now I do own another 360 version just to prove to you guys that um, not all Xbox 360 versions came with the double-sided um, cover as you can see right here it's only got the two bullet points now, I do not own a reversible cover for the PS3, but it does exist. I've seen photos of it. So, you know, if you want the reversible cover, just look for that third bullet point on eBay, on the auctions, or whatever you, whatever site you buy it at. Make sure it has that third bullet point if you want the reversible cover. I do count uh, both versions as a different release, so I do count it for a complete collection. So, if you do, if you do collect, you probably want to get both versions anyways if you're like me. But... Other than that, guys, I hope you, you guys enjoyed this video. And until the next one, guys, take care. Have fun. Remember to subscribe and like down below if you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below what you thought about this video and what do you want to see the next time. But until then, guys, this has been Radar Force signing out. You guys take care, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.